In this video, we will talk about how Bugatti became an extremely exclusive brand. It all started in 1909. The date of the foundation of Bugatti, made by Ettore Bugatti, an Italian entrepreneur who started his business in Alsace, a French region. Ettore Bugatti was a true artist, like most of his family. His father was a renowned furniture designer, and his brother was a sculptor. Ettore was immediately able to surprise, creating a new car with a unique design for those times, named Type 13. The elegant the elegance of this vehicle reached the wealthier classes, and the Bugatti brand was immediately identified as something extremely exclusive. Production continued with the Type 41 Royale, an incredible vehicle for its size. To give you a perspective on how exclusive and limited the Bugatti was, at that time it produced only six cars and sold exactly three. In the 1930s, Bugatti began to participate in races, where there was also many successes. The Type 35 won over a thousand races. In 1939, there was a tragedy that hit the company in an important way, precisely the death of a tour's son, Jean Bugatti. While testing the Type 57 on a closed road, Jean lost control of the car in an attempt to avoid a drunk cyclist who entered the circuit by passing through a hole in the fence. The beginning of the Second World War complicated things even more, and Bugatti stopped its business permanently. There had been sporadic attempts at reviving it, but after a tour Bugatti's death in 1947, the brand never fully recovered. He died on the 21st of August. He will never know that his name will be known, as well as the company he founded and to which he dedicated his entire life. It took many years before anyone thought about taking back this glorious brand. In 1987, the Italian entrepreneur Romano Artioli opened a new factory near Modena where 139 EB110s cars were produced. The power of this car exceeded 600 horsepower. With these features, it becomes superfluous to use any adjective for this vehicle, a car that is more unique than rare as perhaps only Bugatti had been able to do. After only eight years, and precisely in 1995, the company had to declare bankruptcy and close its business for the second time. The rebirth of Bugatti. When Volkswagen purchased Bugatti out of bankruptcy in 1998, there was just a little left of it. Just a name and a red oval logo. But rebuilding brands is something Volkswagen can do particularly well. In the same year, Volkswagen also brought a luxury brand named Bentley. You probably heard of it. The Bugatti EB118, the first design prototype, was created in just a few months in record time. The designer did not create a retro car, but elegantly updated Jean Bugatti's design. Car enthusiasts loved the updated version. A record-breaking brand. After the rebirth of the Bugatti brand, their path has been downhill. And with so many records broken, Bugatti takes home the trophy for the most expensive car in the world, making its debut a year ago at the Geneva International Motor Show. The one-of-a-kind Lava Tour Noir is priced at $18.7 million. Another trophy earned by Bugatti, the French supercar with a power of 1,600 horsepower, reaches a record speed of 490 kilometers per hour. One major difference between then and now is that currently, a Tour Bugatti cared little about what individual customers wanted. His notion was simply to build the best cars in the world. And if they really were the best, then customers would pay a lot for them. Today, customers can select freely from literally limitless combinations of exterior paint colors and interior trims. Anne Schneidt, the head of design at Bugatti, said, We have to keep in mind that 30% of our customers are configuring their car with the colors that we are offering. But they're coming to us and saying, I want the color of my wife's handbag for the interior, and I want the color of my classic Bugatti Type 35 in the garage to be the exterior color. The Rite of Passage of American Rappers Have you ever wondered why you have never seen a TV commercial for luxury brands like Bugatti? The answer is very simple. Those who can afford one of their cars don't watch TV. Their publicity is done by the wealth of famous people. Let me explain by giving you an example. In the American rap and hip-hop scene, having a Bugatti is literally a rite of passage. If you're a rapper, you got Bugattis. Jay-Z, Drake, and Kanye West bought a Bugatti Veyron for this reason. As a result, showing your expensive car on social media, or even talking about it in song lyrics, advertises the brand. It's like Gucci, Supreme, or Louis Vuitton. You know them mostly thanks to the rappers that are constantly talking about them. Facts that have made the Bugatti extremely exclusive. As I said, the Bugatti brand is extremely exclusive, not only because their product is the perfect union of art, form, and technique, but also because its history is forged by little things. Let me give you an example. Bugatti's founder had a mini version of the Grand Prix Bugatti made for his son on his fifth birthday, equipped with a custom-made electric motor. The model was called BB, was later sold by Bugatti, and was a commercial success, even if produced in limited quantities. Only 454 mini Bugattis. This model had had a 
value of almost $90,000. Here's how to turn a gift for your child into a commercial success. Did you know that a model gold Bugatti was made for $2.9 million in 2010? Yes, you heard right. Two car designers who are known for their extravagant model car designs teamed up and made it fully out of solid gold, accented with around 7 carats of diamonds. The model car was named Bugatti Veyron Diamond Limited Edition. This car costs almost twice as much as the actual Bugatti Veyron that costs $1.5 million. The Bugatti Chiron comes with two keys, one for normal rides and another for the insane ones. When you buy a Chiron or a Veyron, if you're one of the world's lucky 500, you will receive two keys. The first one gives you a speed limit of 236 miles per hour in case you want to slow down or you're lending your car to someone, like anyone would do that. The second key is called the Bugatti Speed Key. With this key, you have no limits. That's only for daredevils. So, what do you think about the history of Bugatti? If you took care of this luxury brand, would you keep this exclusivity or would you act like the Ferrari or Lamborghini brand? Also, don't forget to smash that like button to stay updated on all our future uploads. Here on Finance Value Essay, we're all about giving you free content on business, marketing, success, mindset, entrepreneurship, and more. So if you don't want to miss out, subscribe now and get the content today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.